Hey guys, it's Matos Ken. I'm playing Wolf Among Us, and uh, for the regulars that watch, you may notice that I sound a little different. Uh, and I've been having some audio issues here lately, apparently. I've been changing things around, trying new things, and uh, trying to make my audio better. And I was trying something else, and apparently it doesn't work correctly for everyone. Like, mono and stereo sound, I guess, is the only thing I can think of. By people that only have one speaker, or mobile. So I've changed stuff again. I sound different because it's going to be I'm processing it through another program and it's going to add like little effects and things like that. Let me know what you think down in the description below. Let me know if it's working correctly. Like if you can't hear me, you can only hear the game. So anyway, Wolf Among Us. We're just going to do a long play of this. We're just going to play the whole thing in one go because um, it's just a good, a good old, a good old story game. I usually record them all in one sitting anyway. Um, by now you've probably already watched it somewhere else, maybe, maybe, but maybe not. So, so, the one coming soon, crooked smile, yeah, yeah, let's do it. Our stories used to be so simple, we had a beginning middle and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. And I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like... It's not Holly, it's her sister Lily. She was hooking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. It's Ariel. Her name is Larissa. Well, Larissa, I've got some questions. The open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's Crane. Oh yeah, Crane. Motherfucking piece of shit. Crane? Ugh. God, you'd think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know. What's going on? What did you find up there? You know, other than the I just don't know it's fine snow. Why? What's going don't on? Don't know if it's crane for sure. Shit! Crane's been uh. oh, Bigby, calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, it's going to be fine. Will someone please explain this to me? Crane might be following Snow. If I can find her, I can... God damn it! Okay, it's it's going to be okay. But where did you see her last? Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. The trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. That was a weird cut. I bet him. What? Snow's. Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. I don't have time to worry about people's feelings. I gotta stop murder and stuff. Come on. Come on. Oh, I got an achievement. Thanks for playing our game. The Buckingham Bridge.
think I changed the cursor. It looks different. Very special circle. People she trusted and cared for. I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside. I know as well as you that it will never subside. What's up, dude? But I also know that What's up, Lawrence? the memory of Lily. Your Highness. Is Oh, uh, Sheriff. I'm sorry, I, uh... Did you know the deceased? Lily? Oh, um, no, not really. I just came because it... I don't know. Felt like a thing I should do, I guess. I was angry at first. When I heard that Lily was getting a funeral. That Holly was getting closure. I wanted that, too. And I wanted it for Faith. But then I remembered... Faith lived a story Lily never did. She had her adventure. She got to live in the light of forever after with me. For a while. So let Lily have a better finish. It all evens out. I'm gonna get the guy who did this, Lawrence. Thank you, Bigby. And thanks for saving my life. Take care of things, okay? Thank you. offering table. Hmm? I'll miss worrying about you. I'll miss our fights. I'll miss you. Holly. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's... He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. I'm not here because not of the funeral. What he did. Holly, settle down. I'll only take a minute. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here? After you lie? After you promise me? Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Holly gonna be okay. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree on something. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help, and I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. We all deserve to know. I know, I... I know, but... This isn't the way to go about this. I don't give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. If anyone should be told, it's me. It's us. Right now. I'm not... We're not certain yet. I shouldn't have even brought it up. Fuck off. Don't backpedal now. I don't care if you're not certain yet. Just say what you know. No. Okay, everyone, just leave me stop. alone, you bullies. Big B and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here. Please, and I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs first. Look. Holly, I know how this must No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. I don't care. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. You hear me? Let's discontinue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk.
Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Bigby? What's going on? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I thought... I thought that Crane might be here, out of some twisted respect or something. I don't know. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. Deposing Crane would be the next step. And if we get this wrong, it would mean more than our jobs. Crane has been taking photos, Snow. Lots of photos. But photos maybe it's on purpose. He's been recording his visits with Lily. God. Look, let's go back to the business office. I doubt Crane's there at this hour, but we need to talk. And this isn't the place. Snow? Nerissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be, um... No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? No? I, uh... I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, uh... Coming! Get out of here, you nosy girls! Shoo! Constable? Wait, wait, wait. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? How do you do? That way, it's proper. What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into Can I just kill these guys? The suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fitting to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Don't even have to go anywhere. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone and we leave you to yours? Brother? Speak your mind. Fastly now. You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not- What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Bigby, what is he talking about? Never you mind that, it ain't any of your- What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. Mm. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Holly? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Polly, don't move. Polly, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. No. I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> Q. 
Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q-Q! Yeah, man! Oh! The animation seems kind of weird in this one to me. I don't know why. She doing like the hand hover? I think she's dead. Ba, 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 ba. Oh, another achievement. Belly full of stones. Billy Goat's gruff. Belly full of stones. The troll under the bridge. Is that it? The trolls are dead. I get that one. I get it. I'm gonna skip this. I'll watch this a few times. I <laughs> tried to hit escape, it didn't work. Crooked mile. Oh, who's that guy? Somebody broke the mirror. I did as well as I could to take out the buckshot, but there's still some shards left embedded in your shoulder. They'll eventually warm their way out on their own, but until they do, you're gonna be sore. Big B, Dr. Swinehart was appointed Fable Town physician for a reason. It's okay. There's only one thing you have to take away from all this. Take it easy. <clears throat> Don't go looking for any more fights. Keep strain off your heart. How's everyone else? They all make it? They're fine. I had everyone that got wounded sent home. Holly refused to let me see where she oh, lived. Holly lived. So I left her and Grendel back at her bar with a dose of juniper and spring water. The Titans, Bigby. They'll be fine. Just remember what I said. The stitches won't hold up if you continue to act like you normally do. Everything in moderation. And uh, eat more chicken. Look, I'm not the one who creates the situations. I'm just the one who has to deal with them. So you say. Business office. I know, I'll have to call you back. The town is starting to find out. Well, I'll leave you two to it then. Miss White, Big B. Sitting with my manly chest hairs. Mm -hmm. So, to recap, Crane watched me through the magic mirror uncover his room at the open arms, and then he smashed it so we couldn't use it ourselves to go after. And we know this because Buffkin was drinking in the rafters. That about cover it. And once he puts all the pieces back together, it'll be easy to catch Crane. So, I. Yes, that's the plan, currently. But I, I don't know. There's no other leads. This is it. Just wait for the mirror. Yeah. What the hell is going on? Just, I don't know what the Tweedles get out of this. I don't know if Crane sent them. I don't know if, I mean, this is gonna I think sound someone crazy, else. but do you really think Crane did it? Everything points to him, I get it, but do you really think he killed those women? I'm as confused as you are, to be honest. I don't know. It just doesn't make sense. He's... He was a conniver. A, a coward. A liar. And I'll always hate him for that. And I'll hate him for how he... Held me in his thoughts. But murdering prostitutes? That's too far. Everything okay over there? Yes, Miss White. I just cut myself on a piece of the glass. Nothing to worry about. Thanks for tonight, by the way. That could have gone really terribly. I mean, even worse than it did. I just feel bad for Holly, really. Yeah. Time heals everything eventually. At least, mm. I hope so, for her sake. Can I, um ask you a question it's kind of personal and I don't want to offend you but after tonight it's on my mind 
Do I hold you in my mind like Crane does? It's just, when stuff hits the fan, like, like it did tonight, it feels like before we came to the city. It feels kind of like home. And I've heard it said that maybe in some tiny little bottled up way, deep inside, you kind of enjoy it when things go wrong. Hmm. Because it gives you an excuse to just, you know, stop pretending. Why even bring this up? I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I'll avoid that question. Because I don't know. Maybe Bigby does. Uh, guys? We have a problem. There's a piece what missing. I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. What do you mean, missing a piece? Yes, it's, uh... It's not here. Crane must have taken a shard with him. Oh, I can't believe this. I saw Crane pick something up after he smashed it. I'm sorry, I didn't realize what it was until now. Well, the mirror can't work unless it's whole. Well, that's not entirely true. Or what, Buffkin? What? We sit around and wait until it mends itself? We have no idea how long that will take. We're just gonna have to do this the hard way. I'm just saying, waiting is an option. No. We can't depend on the mirror. All right. How long will it take for the mirror to reform? Well, it could take days. Or months or years. He had to have left something that tells us where he's going. He's a neat freak, but he was never that smart. Smart enough to take a piece of the mirror. We can still solve this ourselves. I know never that Never mind that. Come help me look. I wanted to listen to you, Buffkin. Tell me, what's on your mind, buddy? Hi, Mr. Bigby. I can still help you catch Crane, you know. Oh, yeah? Yes. I saw him jump on the telephone before he left. He called up somebody. He said he needed to see his witch, or that he would need to get to the witch for that. Whoever that is. His witch? Yes, it sounded like the one he got his snow blamers from. Hmm. You didn't see anything else, did you? No, not, uh, not especially. Look, uh, the whole mirror thing, it's not your fault, all right? Y you mean it? Yeah. Why didn't you try and stop him? What do you want me to do, yank on his hair? I'm only three feet tall. There are limits here. Okay, okay. I'll just see if I can do anything about this. You do that. Okay, so on the phone, maybe there's a redial on the phone. Nope. Okay, no redial. Uh, let's examine his desk. Crane's desk, what's up? Don't worry, let's walk around it. Okay, drawer. What you got in here, buddy? Locked. The ring There's of page here that was torn out. Oh yeah? Buffkin, do you know what was here? It's a ring, at least. Every magical item not retained in the armory is assigned to someone in Fable Town. It must be this witch he is going to see. Wait, what witch? Buffkin overheard Crane set up a meeting with a witch. Well, yes, it sounded like the one he got his, uh, you glamours from. It must be about this ring. Why not mention this before? No one asked me. Buffkin! And I'm hungover. I'm sorry. <laughs> Actually, you guys are really rude to him. Tonight. What's going on? Is the mirror fixed yet? Bluebeard, this isn't the time. Is the mirror fixed or isn't it? You called I me called to... I called just to see if you knew where Crane could be, and that was it, okay? And I'm sorry I said anything more than that. Well, you did, and I know. The cat's out of the bag. So, can we find the dull pervert or not? 
No, it can't be fixed. It's missing a piece. This is none of Bluebeard's business, Bigby. None of my business? Crane's the murderer. He escaped. It seems he spoiled your every attempt at locating him. And now it's none of my business? We don't know if he's the murderer. Oh, please. Of course he is. Look, this just isn't the time. He took a piece of the mirror so we can't use it. The only thing we know is that Crane's going to see a witch at 2 o'clock. A.M. or P.M.? A.M. Listen, Bluebeard, you're not a part of this. I don't think you're in any position to turn away help. What do you know about Crane, anyway? That he has the stones to kill prostitutes like any common sex-frightened serial killer and not face a real challenge. Look, we know that Crane is going to see a witch, and it's to acquire a magic ring. What's the ring? We don't know what it does or who it's assigned to since Crane tore its page out of the book. This farce was your ridiculous idea for a plan. I mean, who put you in charge in the first place? Fixing the mirror was the most logical You're thing. You're a secretary. He's the sheriff. And none of you were chosen to run this office. Who elected you to make these decisions? Nobody, but that who doesn't... Who elected her to spend my money? Well, I've been doing that unofficially for years now. Unofficially is not officially. I'm heading up the investigation, okay, Bluebeard? That makes what? this a moot point. Yeah. And somebody needs to run the business office while he does so. Well then, excuse me for having the Commonwealth in mind. Blueberry, you're just making me doubt it's Crane even more. All right, let's <clears throat> just look on the bright side. We know Crane is going to see the witch that's been supplying him black market glamours. Thanks to me. And that he'll be there at two. So that gives us... A few short hours to find out who it is and where they live and get them all at once. And a few shorter hours the more you babble about it. We haven't been the ones babbling. Yeah, yeah. Just point in the direction you want me to check first. Since Lily used the glamours, she'd have known who the witch was. And I don't think Holly's burned her things yet. It would probably have the address or a phone number or something. And Bigby is free to go there if he likes. But I think the question you should be asking is just what do the two Tweedles know about this? It doesn't matter what they know. After tonight, they never go to their office. They're not smart enough to try and go anywhere else? The Trip Trap is the better option to track the witch down. That has to be our focus. Look, chances are I'll have to swing by both anyways. No, so... chances are you won't have time. I don't really care what you two do. I'm going to his apartment. What? You can't just go up there. And why the hell not? We already looked for the key, remember? I don't know where it is. Then I'll pick the blasted lock! <sighs> I've wasted enough time waiting for the mirror to find him. I won't waste any more. You just can't go up there alone, all right? I've no interest in nicking his drapes, my dear, if that's what concerns you. What concerns me is you traipsing through possible evidence. Oh, now it's evidence. Before you had no interest, and now it's a crime scene. We can't just let Bluebeard run amok in Crane's place. Ha! He's after something. I just don't know what it is. We have to find the witch, Bluebeard, since that's where he's going. Or the sniveling weasel chickened out. Never went anywhere. And is upstairs right now in his pitiful penthouse, crafting a fort out of couch cushions. Look, this is how a smart person would do it. So this is how we're going to do it. Wherever you go, I'll go to the other. I don't like you going anywhere unsupervised. He's up to something. I don't know what it is, but we don't have the time to really worry about it now. He's right there. Can he not hear? <clears throat> Let's see. Let me go over here. Find the witch. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. I'd love to join you, but there's some business I need to attend to. No, no, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy, and I don't need charity. Hmm. Where do I want to go? I guess really, I don't, hmm. Crane's apartment, Holly's bar, Dee's office. I kind of want to go to Crane's apartment. I've already been to Holly's bar enough. I'm in these offices. I'm going to Crane's apartment. Crane's place is right here. I should check that out first. Perfect. And I'll go to those two imbeciles' office. 
Crane's penthouse number is 1903. Let me know what you find. I hope you know what you're doing. Well, you're sitting around answering phones. Shut up. What big eyes you have was unlocked. Hmm. <clears throat> okay, 1903. Right? Is that what it said? What is that? It's 1902. No one. And it's open already. How's about that? Crane? Time is running, I guess. One hour and 55 minutes left. Got a statue of himself. A bust. Damn it. Must have missed him. There's got to be something about his witch here. Wine cabinet pictures. Look at some pictures. I've never seen him that excited. Guess things have changed. Math, science, history. I had to guess. This shit didn't work. <laughs> Oh yeah, love making. What you got in your wine? Same brand we found in the open arms. All right, let's see. A bag, a teacher's pouch, huh? This hasn't been used in years. I forgot. He used to teach in the old days. Was he a pedophile also? Oh god. Oh god, let's see. Answer machine. Play me something. Crane. Look, the crooked man isn't happy, Capadre, and as much as I like making house calls, I have better ways to use my time. So, if you can go ahead and pay him by Friday, that would be great. Alright? Crooked Everybody man. Can stay up this right. is all I could In get. The meantime, I'm afraid snow will start to notice. Now. I'll have the rest for you next see ya. week. Think about Crane. What's going on here? Hey, I'm confiscating that money. Hmm. <laughs> my dearest Snow, I know you must be aware of my feelings towards you. And watching you work. If I'm unable to control myself, it's because I love you. <sighs> No, oh, there's a key. Might be useful. Hey, it's the headless horseman. Okay, so we got a key and some money. What else can we find here? Picture of him. Looking all. Somebody's ring the doorbell, or is that a clock? Anything else? Anything else? Just bust. Really? <laughs> okay. Someone in there? You got a key, it's okay. <clears throat> Try it out. Wow, it is just unbelievable running into you here. I mean, of all the places. This weather, right? A little damp, I guess. But, you know, some people like that sort of thing. Oh, Jack. Explain yourself. Now. Okay, okay, okay. I know what it looks like, but before you go jump into conclusions, Crane pays me to water his plants when he's gone. It's a stipend, but you know I need the work. I wouldn't do it for free, right? You know me. So, anyways, uh, now that I'm done... I don't see any plants. Hey! Oh. Jack, you're not that nimble. And you're not that quick. You got me. Just take it easy. Don't make a big deal out of this. This is really fucking necessary. Start talking, Jack. Okay, okay. I heard Crane was leaving town. 
I figured he owed us little people a parting gift. Or just me a parting gift. You heard? I have my sources, okay? You see how he lives. He doesn't need any of this shit. Have you heard anything about a witch? In connection with Crane? Maybe something about a ring? What are you getting at? What else do you want me to say? I got bills to pay! Not like Crane's gonna use any of this stuff! Did somebody send you and tell the truth? No! It's just me. Just take it easy. You know, this tortured, lonely pig eater bit's gonna get old eventually. Don't you get tired of it? I mean, what are you even doing here? Are you just wandering around Crane's apartment? I mean, what's the point? I'm investigating. Sure. Well, looks like you've got it covered. Anyway, Where'd you take? It was really nice catching up with you. I mean that. Bigby, I believe you're uh, blocking the doorway there. If I could just uh, squeeze through. You know, on second thought, it's actually funny I ran into you like this. I think I can help you out. Somehow I doubt it. You're looking for Crane's witch, right? Look, I'm not stupid. Big B Wolf comes in here asking about witches in Crane's apartment. I'm not a mathematician, but I know <laughs> two plus two is five, am I right? I can tell you who she is. If you're interested. Information comes at a price, though. But I'm sure you already knew that. How about we continue this talk in a jail cell? Let's make ourselves a deal. I tell you about Crane's witch, and you forget you saw me here. One hand washes the other sort of thing. Wipe you just gave me a... Under the rug. Come on, what do you say? Oh! This is not a negotiation, Jack. This isn't a fucking boxing match either. <sighs> How about this? I'll tell you what I know. Then you can reconsider my offer. Hmm? Her name is Auntie Greenleaf. Crane's been trying to keep it under wraps for years. I'm not sure what he's using her for, but if he's not going to the 13th floor, it's got to be something illegal. Where can I find her? Well, um, you see, uh, th the thing is, I don't know where you'd find her exactly. You gotta be fucking kidding me. But even a name is a good start, right? I mean, that's more than what you came in with. You probably just made that up. <laughs> right. I'll keep my eyes open for you. If I find anything else you might be interested in, I'll be sure to let you know. Well, uh, I think you've got plenty to keep you busy. So, I'll, uh... <sighs> it was just lovely running into you, baby. Hang on a second. Oh, come on. Dear, do you always talk to yourself like that? The witch uses the white deer on everything. It's her symbol or trademark, I guess. Figured I could sell these at the Lucky Pawn. The Lucky Pawn? It's one of the crooked man's places. I work there sometimes. When I need some stability. It's a pawn shop. Get it? Yeah, yeah. You find any more of these? Uh, no. You want to try that again? That it? Big me? Are you still here? We're done here. Mind by me. Who are you talking to? What's he doing here? Evening, Miss White. Good evening. What's going on? He's here to help. Jack had some information about Crane's witch. Oh, what did you find out? Her name is Greenleaf. Auntie Greenleaf. But he doesn't know where we can find her. Great. Crane's meeting her at 2 a.m. And Snow, I found a note with some money attached. Crane has been embezzling from Fabled Town. <sighs> of course, because why half-ass being a complete sleazeball? Do you think this is tied to the murders? I mean, I guess it doesn't matter yet. 
I think it's connected. Maybe the girls found out about it. I don't know. Maybe. Crane's meeting Greenleaf at 2 a.m. And we have no idea where she is. We're going to cut it close as it is. We have to figure out where he's meeting her. I don't know, but I'll think of something. You should try Holly's. She still has all of Lily's things. If she hasn't burned it already. There's still Tweedledee's place. We know they're involved. And we know that's where Bluebeard went. Where do you want to go? We don't have much time. Hmm. Uh, let's go to the office. The Tweedle brothers a visit. And I'm so sure Bluebeard can complain at me. Okay. I'll give Buffkin the name and hope he finds something in the records. And let me know what he comes up with. I'll be in touch. I hope you'll do the same. We'll catch him, Snow. Hang on, Jack. I want to talk to you. <laughs> Poor Jack. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, hi, Bluebeard. Oh, no, I'm sorry, big guy. You can't come in. Yeah, yeah, because the thing is, and I don't know if you'd heard, but I'm a third degree black belt and, uh, you know, whatever. So I wouldn't take any chances, hombre. Last guy who messed with me got his marbles kicked right through his abdomen, all right? <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh. Hi, Sheriff. Flycatcher. What brings you here? What the hell happened? I'll have it cleaned up soon. I'm, I'm sorry. Bluebeard was here. He was looking for something. I don't know what. He said it was an official investigation. But how was I supposed to know if he was telling the truth? When I wouldn't let him in... Shit. Found what he was looking for, I guess. It's just super annoying. What did he take? I don't know what he wanted. I, I didn't see what he did after... I'm really sorry, Big B. Was he telling the truth? He said you sent him, but I don't know. I just thought he was lying. I'm not supposed to just let people in here. But then he got mad, saying, oh, just terrible things. He said he'd make sure I got fired. <sighs> don't worry about it, Flycatcher. Oh, I'm going to get fired. <laughs> Crane already let me go from the woodlands. Is that why you're here? He said I just got in the way, told me to get lost. The twins offered me a job here working the night shift, so I'd have something. What do I do now? It's nice, you know, quiet. I come in and clean up. They're usually pretty nice, understanding. You should talk to Snow. Maybe there's something she can do for you. Really? That would be... thank you. Look, I'm running out of time. Ah, oh, shit. Is everything okay? I gotta go. What? Where? I'm headed to the trip trap. Just, uh, just call Snow and tell her what's happened, okay? Can you do that for me? Okay, I, I guess. And I'll ask her about that job, all right? Sure, sure. Take care of yourself, Fly. You too, Sheriff Bigby. Oh, Flycatcher. I think in the books, he becomes, like, the dude, eventually. I think. I think he like becomes like the most powerful, or he is the most powerful fable. I don't remember. Hmm. <laughs> She's asleep, you fucking idiot. You didn't even give me a chance to explain. What's left to explain? Just, you know what happened. We know what happened. Or how it happened. Why would she want to hear that? Well, can I... Can you what? Can I just... I don't know. Wait here for a bit? Until she wakes up. Then? <laughs> what do I care? Read the sign! Hey, look, Woody, it's the sheriff. Well, come on in, buddy. Oh, they're drunk. <clears throat> Friend, 
What? He's a traveler. A weary traveler in search of some hospitality, right? Yeah, sure. Thanks. I want a drink. Anybody else want a drink? Friend, Swinehart said you shouldn't mix you it You think I give a fuck what that fucking guy says? Or what you say? Grant, really, you shouldn't drink right now. I can't hear you when you mumble. Have you seen Lily's things? What wasn't burned at the funeral? Um, is that stuff supposed to be here, or...? Nope, haven't seen it. Holly's asleep in back, but you won't be able to wake her. Really? The doc gave him both barmesidal ambrosia for the pain. Look, the deal is, if you resist going to sleep, like I am right now, it gives you a very, very, very nice high. <laughs> oh, Jace. He said that he shouldn't mix it with alcohol. Big B and the Woodsman are <clears throat> voiced by the same guy. Yeah, he did. <clears throat> you can kind of tell. He certainly did. Just a little bit. Well, let me tell you something. I haven't felt this good in a long time, fat boy. You sure you don't know where Lily's things are? You should care about this since it's important to the case. What did I tell you before? I'm sure I don't know. It's kind of a freaking heart attack. Funeral back there? That was a shitty fucking send-off for a pretty okay lady. Yeah. You weren't fucking there. Talking to Bigby now, okay? Can't say you being there helped things much. Gren, don't start nothing. Who's starting anything? I'm not. Whatever. It's alright. I'm too out of it to get into it. I want to clear the air. We're all in this dung heap of a fucking shit town together. We're all gonna have a toast. All of us. Fellas, I'm here for one thing. To look through Lily's belongings and get out of here. Now, yeah, right? yeah, I know, I know. And I want to help you, okay? And I will. But first, indulge me. It'll take two seconds. As a show of good faith. And after, we'll all hunt and peck for Lily's shit or whatever. Grand Bigby didn't come here to get loaded with you. I don't want to get loaded with him. I'm going to drink it, but hopefully he didn't roofie me. To the dead. All right, now help me. Grand. Doc said you needed to rest. How many times you fucking gonna warn me about it, huh? You're not my fucking mother, so just get off my back! I said I was sorry, alright? I can't do anything about it, it's done! <sighs> what more do you want? What else can I fucking say here? I don't want anything from you, Woody. I absolutely cannot babysit you dumbasses right now. End whatever this is, so we can just move past it. Oh, I forgot. You haven't heard the news. This walking lard cake was paying Holly's sister to let him fuck her behind all of our backs. And Holly had to find out going through all of her sister's shit. What fun that must have been. Trick after trick of this fat ass and Lily. I didn't plan for that, all right? And our thing, whatever it was, it wasn't a big deal. It wasn't. I never fucked her when she was snowing. I didn't know nothing about that. No, but you knew Holly would flip out. And you knew for a damn good fucking reason. You know what? Fuck this. I don't need this shit. Oh yeah, that's it. Now you're teary-eyed. You were always such a low life. I don't know why I never realized it till now. What do you think about this fucking loser, Sheriff? He can think whatever he wants. I don't give a shit. No, that's okay. Cause I'll tell you what he thinks. Wait, wait. 
I've got some questions for you. What possible questions could you have for this? Shut person? up! Jeez, you guys are dragging this out way too much. Talk, but when the woodsman's about to leave, it's oh wait, I have questions. What do you want? Tweedledee came in here two nights ago. Why'd you run? I was scared, okay? I, I didn't want to go down for something I didn't do. I never would have hurt that girl, Bigby. All right. Grin. I don't know where Lily's shit is. <sighs> Check Holly's room, I don't know. But I wouldn't wake her if I were you. Sleepwalkers and trolls. I think that's the rule. If I can't find her stuff, I might have to. Actually, Big B, if you'll excuse me, it seems that I'm gonna pass out. What a day. Am I right, Sheriff? What a fucking day. He won't remember this. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Finally, geez, they are dragging this. Not much has happened, but it is being drug out a lot by these guys. Uh, don't touch her. She got all the stuff under her right there. Ah, oh, great. Great, great, great. Um... Look at the cut, I guess. Yeah, that's all of her stuff under the troll. Sweet. All right, let's move her. Roll over. There you go. All right. Give me that stuff. Now take it back out to the bar before you look through it all. Or just put it right here in the same room with her so she'll wake him and be like, What are you doing? And cause more stupid drama that we don't need. Good job, Bigby. We're trying to solve a murder here. Uh, that you, Woody? Uh, Woody? Is that you? Woody. Bar's closed. And Lily ain't around anyway, so you can run off back to the woods, I guess. Faith and the mermaid. Did you care about her at all? She was a nice girl, ran around too much. But a nice girl. I thought you were a friend. See, there's the glamour tube. It looks different. I see a deer on there. Shut up! Put me alone! I don't know why you fucking came here. There's nothing left for you to ruin. And I'm not in an entertaining mood. I'm sorry, Holly. I'm sorry for what happened. I'll make it up to you. Ah, uh, sure you will, kid. When the rivers turn coarse and the sky bleeds fucking gypsies. Okay. It's a book. Lily's funeral. It was just so fucked tonight. I just don't know what Bigby's doing. If he, if he cares about it. If he even gives a shit. I don't know. I don't know why he showed up. I just wish he'd get out of my fucking life. But, you know, it's not like he's... Alright. If you were 
you're getting your glamour on this day, then one of these has to be the witch. Auntie Greenleaf. Gotcha. Hello, this is Snow White calling. I'm looking for Bigby. Is anyone there? Bigby, if you're there, pick up, okay? Snow? Oh, thank God. Tell me you found something. I got it, Snow. Her address was here with Lily's things. It's on, uh, White Plains Avenue, 1284. It's an apartment complex. Great. Let's get going. Crane's meeting her in a few minutes. You're welcome. <sighs> Thanks. Listen, we have to hurry. I'll be what if it's really her? All right, I'll see you there. Or if it's Bluebeard. With a glamour. I don't know. <laughs> just, just saying. Big B! I just got here. Yeah, me too. It's number 23. I haven't seen it yet. We're late. Yeah, I know. This is it. All right. How do you want to do this? Hear anything? If anyone's in there, they're being awfully quiet. Wait, 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 wait! What are you doing? What does it look like? Don't just kick it in! We don't know what's on the other side. <laughs> Let's just save the last resort for last. Oh my god! Hey, little girl! I'm sorry, I'm sorry, don't hurt me! <laughs> Surprise! So sorry. We didn't realize you were right there. Where's Crane? Is he hiding in here? Has he left? I'm, I'm sorry. It's I... all right. It's it's okay. Calm down. We're not here to hurt you. Are you the witch? Are you sure? Yes, Mr. Wolf can get a bit excited sometimes, but that's all over with now, I assure you. Now, what's your name? Rachel. Who are... Who are you? Just so... We're not strangers. Dearie, I'm the big bad wolf. Big B. Really? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I'm cool. I I've heard about you. Have you? Yeah, all about how the woodsman cut you open, fed you rocks for dinner, and then threw you into the ocean. And you can't even swim! Did it leave a scar? Can I see it? Are you and the woodsman friends? I heard somewhere that you guys are friends. Okay, kid. Look, I'll make you a deal. If you're good, I'll give you a whole demonstration. I'll be me, and you'll be the grandmother. Though, uh, I don't know if Miss White here would necessarily approve. <laughs> okay, deal. Is there, um, is there anything you need? Is Auntie Greenleaf at home? Does she live here? You mean my mom? She ever, you know, make the nightstand levitate, turn frogs into cats, that kind of thing? Is she a witch, dear? No, I would never call my mommy that. She treats me all right. Is Not the there question. Something you want? Snow, can you just do something here? I, I never have any idea what to say to these people. You mean children? <sighs> Do you mind if my friend here takes a look around? I promise we'll be quick so you can hurry back to bed. Looks witchy. She is the witch. All night. Nobody's been here. <laughs> Give me that okay, stinker. I'm going to trust your friend not to break anything. Don't get me in trouble. Look for anything unusual. Yeah, like Crane. He could still be here. Ooh, okay. Record player, a portrait. That your mom? Uh-huh. Okay. Da, 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 da. Tree. Don't worry about any of this. No one's been over all night, so... He's just going... Just checking it out. The butcher. butcher. What's that? A package having to do with someone called the butcher. Hmm. It's empty. Maybe in the refrigerator. They have one. Not here. There's no one here but me. Don't care. 
About who's here? Was there like a bedroom or anything around here? Let's see. Where do you buy your clothes? At a store. Oh, my mommy makes all of mine. What are you hiding behind here, little girl? Get out of the way. There's nothing that looks like Crane was here either. So nothing. That... See. Mm hmm. Dear Skull. I'm a hunter. Oh no, she never. That was found in the woods around Dick's Mountain, I think. Dick's Mountain. It's pretty rare to see a burner like this. <sighs> Dowdy. That's how we like it. Let me guess. Big band or classical? Honky tonk. No accounting for taste. Okay. All right, how about the tree? All the deer up there. What is this? Mommy uses that to carve her trinkets. It's from the old world. Trinkets? Um, like glamours? God damn it. I shouldn't say that. Nothing. <laughs> Keep getting the whiffs of that aftershave of his. I do too. Can I go to bed now? Yes, you're Please. a crane, aren't you? Are you crane? Is that a glamour tube? Mommy really doesn't let anyone play with that. Trust me, I've tried. Oh, no, 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 no. Please, 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 just put that back exactly where you found it. No one is allowed to play with it's that. It's all right, honey. Bigby's not going to break no, it. I don't understand. She will freak out if she discovers I've let people in here and let them touch her stuff, okay? She checks all the time to see if things move. I don't want to get in trouble. Snow, come on. Are you kidding? It's a glamour tube. Something's going on here. No! Put it down! Please, don't! This isn't what you think! You gotta believe me. The guy isn't here, I promise! It's gonna be okay, Rachel. Please, I'm begging you. I don't want to... I don't want to get in trouble. <laughs> Yeah. Gotcha. It hurts when you do it that fast. What? Not sprightly enough? You picked the wrong <laughs> night to lie to me. No more lying, no more ring around the rosy, no more bullshit non sequiturs. You're done. It's over. You're gonna tell me what I wanna know right now. All right, start explaining. And from the beginning, I was born in the woods to a jackal and a... Help us catch Crane. That's all we care about. That's not all we care about. Snow? I ain't a fortune teller, wolf. I have no heavenly idea where he went to. You have to know something. Unless you want a recipe for owl stew. You're an accomplice to murder. Do you realize that? You might want to check your facts on that. Oh, now we're getting somewhere. It doesn't matter. I can't help you. I have no interest in being turned into a skink and crushed under boot heels. There's powers at work here beyond your pathetic authority. Whatever it is, Greenleaf, whatever it is that's keeping you from saying something... I don't give a shit about your problems, Greenleaf. Just talk. Now. You have no idea what's going on, do you? Of course not. That's what we're freaking you know what here. Happened? Good lord. We've been more than patient with you. This witch has been selling illegal glamours that continue to undermine everything we've built. She's harboring a fugitive that took advantage of it, and now she's resisting every attempt to make things right. I frankly don't give a crap if she's afraid for her life. We can at least make sure she never hurts us again. We're destroying the tree. No! How dare you come in here and threaten to take from me the one thing that... That tree is ancient. It's part of the family, and it's the only thing paying for this shithole apartment. And the fables who can't afford the glamours from you come to me for help. Without them, where do you think they could Don't go? give me that. You're making money off of other people's misery. Two fables are dead because of this crap. It's too dangerous leaving this stuff with her. You think I like being the old woman in these stories? 
The men are heroes, the ladies are whores, and the old hags like me get to watch everyone they love die. We have very different ways of handling our fate. Very different means to handle it, too. And I don't use it as an excuse to wreck people's lives. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but please. Isn't there another way? She's a witch. Can't she just work for us? That way she'd be official. You want to reward her for criminal behavior? We can't trust this woman on the 13th floor. It doesn't matter, because I'd never do it. I'm not a house cat, and I don't play well with others. Oh, trust me, no one would confuse you for a cuddly animal. Bigby, this is an order. Burn the tree. No! Look, look, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Crane was here. He was here, and he left. He went to the Pudding and Pie to try to use my ring on the girls over there to get information. What does the ring do? He thinks it's the Ring of Dispel. You know, that it will pierce the protection around the girl's speech. He says pulling the truth out of them will prove his innocence. I knew he didn't do it. It won't, though. Damn thing lost its power decades ago. I'm sorry, but we still can't let you keep the tree. It wouldn't be right after what's happened. Big B. Please, Sheriff. Don't. Today is your lucky day, Greenleaf. I'm hiring you as the business office's newest witch in residence. But Bigby! The witches over there will keep her out of trouble, and, and we have a glamour shortage as it is. It makes the most sense now. And you get to keep your fucking. Now, nah, my tree. boss. Just don't expect me to bow down to your little woman here. Don't think for a second that this is over. Uh, so what? A moving truck's gonna show up here or something? Something like that. We'll call you. Hmm. Yeah. I think I handled that better than burning the tree. I mean, was it really gonna affect the story either way? If you can, if you can change it, then it probably doesn't really matter. You can always get to the end when they give you choices. It's kind of the uh, the thing of giving people choices. But you still have to make it work. No, it's hey, phone. Need to Shut up. up with. I don't think so, at least. Shit. Hold on. Oh, do you miss a spot? Mr. Clean, come to smash up the rest of my place. Oh, I see. Come to audition, you bitch. Where's Crane? Ichabod Craig? What would that nerd have with a place like this? Tell me what you know, now! <laughs> hey, you can't just go in there! We have a problem. Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! Mr. Crane, please! She can't help! I know you know what the plan is! I won't be held accountable for this! I can't! I can't! I'm sorry! I... Oh my god, Big B. We don't. I, I, I didn't do anything. I promise you, I didn't do anything. Those girls, the, the, the girls, they'll back me up. I just have to get the stupid ring working, that's all. I can't talk because of that spell. But once this ring gets through, I'll know what's going on and this whole thing will be over. That's all, please. I'm innocent, completely, completely innocent. The ring won't work. Greenleaf sold you out. What? No. This will work. I assure you, it, it must. I, I went to you. <laughs> Tell me, come on. Please. Tell me who killed her. My lips are sealed. What? How many years has this been going on? Oh my god, this doesn't matter. Too many. But I didn't kill those women, Bigby. Please, I had nothing, nothing to do with that. I just, I, it just... Does say fat and sexy hair? We found the photos of you and Lily. I know, I know. That's, that was, I just... 
I just love you, Snow. I love, I love you, and, and I'm sorry I'm not Prince Charming, okay? I'm sorry I didn't cheat on you and run away to Europe. You don't love me, Crane. I know what this is. I've seen it before. It is not love. He just wants that booty, right? Hey, it's a bra. Bigby? I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Of course. Do you really think this man murdered these women? We need facts. He wouldn't be brave enough not to put his stamp on the world like that. He's a disgusting coward, not a murderer. Thank you, my dear. It means so much to Shut up. Don't talk to me. Okay, okay. <laughs> you said you found evidence of him defrauding Fable Town, of using our money for his own ambitions. That's one thing. But don't you have doubts he's a murderer? We've both known him for so long. I can't believe I'm hearing this. Did you see how he was acting when you showed up? Yes, I know how this... Why would he even come here if he wasn't covering his tracks? This it doesn't... Knows more than he's saying. Doesn't seem like he's trying to cover anything. Yes, okay, he probably does. But there's a difference between being involved and being the guy who did it. Okay, but if Crane didn't kill Faith and Lily, I'm sorry, but who the hell did? Get out of here, who cares? This whole thing is bigger than Crane. He wouldn't have the stones to send the Tweedles after me. Somebody else is involved. Well, shit. I didn't intend for any of this to get so... You've been stealing money from Fabletown for years, haven't you? Yeah. We're not gonna kill you, so quit your shivering. Ichabod Crane yeah, get out of here, stripper. under arrest for the misappropriation of Fabletown funds. You have the right to counsel, the right to depose witnesses. But as of right now, you're coming with us. You are extraordinarily lucky Miss White was here to save your ass. As if it was up to me. You have your head swinging from the Washington Bridge. Okay, Sheriff, that's enough. This can't be Greenleaf again and again, behaving however you like, acting without constraint. You have to respect this office, Bigby. And you have to respect me as its leader, starting now. You think you have what it takes to run that office? You think I didn't make sacrifices? I made sacrifices. And you won't be in that chair one minute before you have to give up something you care about just so the wheels don't fall off the goddamn wagon. I did the best I could with what I had. And the town took everything it could out of me. If I maybe took a little something back in return, then so be it. I have no regrets. Better save your energy, huh? You're going away for a long time. Okay. So how's it gonna end? It's gotta something amazing is gonna happen here. Someone's gonna come and get it about. Stupid girls and preposterous schemes. What are you saying? A drive by. Oh. Shit. Here comes another car. Ooh, two more cars. Twiddle D. Dumb. And Bluebeard. Nope. Hi. What you got there? Hmm. 
Look, it's recently come under our attention that you're... How shall I put this? Attempting to claim what is the personal property of the Crooked Man. He's about yay high, 120 odd pounds. Pissed his sheets until he was 14. Sound familiar? I haven't told him anything. Not now, not now. Shh. The grown-ups are talking. Who are you? No, 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 no. That's not how this works. How this works is you are going to walk Crane over here. Like a good doggy. It wasn't my fault. <clears throat> Shut up. You're interfering with official Fabletown business. Step aside. Tweedledee. What's the, uh, you know, that thing the Mundies call me? Wha what? My nickname. You know what I'm talking about. Uh, Bloody Mary. Bloody Ma Mary, that's it. Thank you. And do you know why they call me that? Because some of them, they think it's funny to have their little sleepovers and go into their little bathrooms and say my name five times in the mirror. They find it less funny when I actually show up and feed their lungs to the family dog. And I do that for a hobby. Like golf, to relax. You can fuck off if you think you're getting him. I told you he'd never just give him up. A silver bullet? I hope not. <laughs> Would that even do anything to Big B? I don't know. Ah, God! Oh no! It's morphin' time! You guys are done! <laughs> you can't beat the big bad wolf, guys! Get out of here! I'm still hitting it! Oh no! It's, it's more morphin' time! Jesus. Q, Q, Q. Oh. <laughs> this gun was shaking ready to see it. some of this Yeah, I did it, girl. I'm tired of their crap. They tried to kill me, so I kind of die. Surprise, surprise. Thing we're like, oh, you think you can get up, but you can't. I mean, hey, look, I know it sounds ridiculous, but really, guys. <laughs> I, I filled it up. You can't stop me, game. It's all the way. Get her. No, I can't. Wait. Stop. Jack. 
Just take him, okay? Take Crane. Just stop, please. Well, she was smart. She'd go ahead and kill Big B anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Snow. Don't do this. Ah, uh, his voice doesn't sound all cool. It's your lucky day, kid. The crooked man says it's okay with him. Hello, Ichabod. Got a stomach ache? Just between us girls, Crane ain't no killer. I mean, look at his face. Couldn't stick a pig if his life depended. Nope, not like your boyfriend. <laughs> well, this is Jeez. a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really. Sure, we'll be in touch. Long live the queen. See around. What if that actually means anything? Like, the like other evil queens from the stories. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. He's lucky to be alive, and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. This is getting worse by the minute. We don't have time to sit around and wait for their next move. I'll get things under control. Woody, I'm not gonna tell you again. Back off, dog. This doesn't concern you. What do you want to talk about? I just wanted to, um, about last night. When people hear what you did to Dom, they're going to think you've gone back to your old ways. Don't hold out on me, Jack. You've always got some angle. Not this time. I know when a mark's not worth the trouble. Do you? Don't make me come down there to deal with you. I don't want it. You don't want it. <laughs> then again, you don't have much choice at this point. Do you? Hmm. Let's see, did you interrupt Snow? You and 83% players decided to not to interrupt Snow. Well, okay. What place did you investigate first? It's like 44% went straight to the place. And then hardly anybody went to Tweedledum's, Tweedledee and Tweedledum's office. That's the one I picked, so I'm part of the 35%. Did you make a deal with Jack? You and 31% of players decided not to make a deal with Jack. Did you offer Flycatcher a job? 97.2% of people offered a job to Flycatcher. Because Flycatcher is a cool guy. Everyone likes Flycatcher. Flycatcher is like the hoss. You and 82% did not burn the tree. Did you kill? You and 46% killed Twiddles. That's kind of a mix. Yeah. That's nice. It's usually choices like that not a lot of people make. But this one's kind of uh, different. From the, uh, I mean, it's a lot different than The Walking Dead, which I need to, I need to play that. I haven't played the, the next episode of Walking Dead yet. But anyway, that was the uh, episode three of The Wolf Among Us, three of five, I believe. So the next episode, we'll still be chasing things down, not really getting anything done, a lot of talking, a lot of wasting time, and then finally a cool ending, so you forget all about that. And then the last one, kind of the same thing, but then maybe even better ending, where you'll be like, man, that was a good ending. So anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed it. Stay toasty, my friends.